So every day witchcraft, making time for spirit in a too busy world by Deborah Blake. So if you like her writing, this is another book for you to have on your shelf. And but if you aren't the type of person who just pumps out books because I think I contract because she has it seems almost every year or so she is releasing a book but yeah but this was 2015 fourth printing But yeah, it uh, is a Llewellyn book, and she does have a number, she has written a number of books as well, and so if you aren't a fan of hers, this might not be one to pick up, but I did find a few things for that, that I did like in this, and of course there are other books about bringing your practice into each day. Obviously there's the 365 day type books, but this is also an option. You got, she's written about like creating your own path. So like needs and desires, freedom to practice openly, time and energy, she like explains that. She's got like different ways to start the day, like greet Greet the goddess and or god in your own way. Greet the dawn or the new sun. And so on. But if you aren't the type of practitioner who does those sorts of things or like doesn't have a deity or doesn't practice to a de um, divine, there are, are other ways, but like, wah. Well, write in a journal, take a walk outside and commune with nature. There are different things you can take out of this book. Five minute rituals. So spending like five, six minutes doing a tiny thing. Shower, quick protection work. So the wheel of the year. The lunar cycle, I don't deal with the lunar, lunar cycle, but a lot of people do. There's a mention of that. And there's mention of, like, the Sabbaths. I don't celebrate all of the Sabbaths because I don't have that real connection with them. So, like, four Sabbaths gone for me. So, spring cleaning, not just for spring cleaning anymore. I found myself recently and like the past two years, I've been start like starting to clean more in like the fall winter months, not just spring. So she has that mention and like cleansing, she talks about that, protection and some other stuff. And she has in this book where she has guest writers. So when you see something like that, it means that somebody else is writing something. And so you're looking at page two pages about of somebody else writing something in here. So there's guest, guest, off, guest writers in here and she has recommended books for the basics and beyond so there's different types of books no one two three four five six seven seven books and yeah between 2007 and 2015 she pretty much wrote a book every year so but yeah But yeah, this is 
uh, interesting read if you want to have different ideas on how to bring your practice, witchcraft, whatever, into the into your everyday life. Or you may look through it and say, hey, I already do this stuff. Thanks for reiterating or whatever. But, yeah, it's something to have a look at. So, Everyday Witchcraft by Deborah Blake. Happy readings.